you know, I was going to take the night off, but with losses like this, I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, <laughs> I, I, I really don't know what to say about this team. I'm glad I shut this one, though, early. I'm glad I did. I won't lie. I shut this one early because I just knew. I just knew that there was no point. There was no point. I knew that this would happen. And, oh, wow, it totally shocks me that the Mets scored one run in the ninth. <laughs> tradition at this point. It's tradition for them to just flip us, flip us off and score a run in the, at the end of a game where we're already dead in the water. Mets lose, though, 4-1 to one to the Chicago Cubs since I didn't mention that. So... Let's talk about this one. Before we do, leave a like on the video if you do enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Mets fans. Last night, I gave them the benefit of the doubt because they didn't get the timely hits, but they actually had some productive at-bats. They actually looked pretty good uh, at times. So I gave them the benefit of the doubt, right? Thinking, okay, they'll bounce back tonight. I thought for sure they'd bounce back at least... Assad had some good stuff, good pitches. But um tonight, Samson. Samson. I don't know his first name. Let's see his first name. Adrian. Adrian Samson. Yeah, Pete Alonzo jawing at him. Yeah, and you don't you don't do anything to back it up except for congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations on a home run in the ninth inning. DeGrom looked great in his first inning. Getting two strikeouts. Cruz through that first inning. No problem. Nimmo leads things off with a walk in the first. Lindor with a fly out. McNeil with a single, but it ended up hitting Brandon Nimmo. Stupid rule. Such a stupid rule. Hit Brandon Nimmo, though, and he was ruled out. So, McNeil on. Pete then with a walk, and the Mets had a chance to do something early, and Vogie grounds out. Shocking. Ian Happ then leads the second inning off with a home run. DeGrom leads the fastball right down the middle, and that makes it one to nothing. Ortega gets on the single, but then DeGrom cruises through the rest of the inning, gets two strikeouts to the offense. Third inning for DeGrom, two strikeouts. Uh, another easy inning. Mets in the bottom of the third. Have a chance to add some runs here again. Nimmo walks. McNeil with a single. Runners on the corners. Pete with two outs. Nothing. Nothing. No timely hits at all. And then, I, like I said in the first inning, you had Pete jawing at Samson. Well, I got news for you, Pete, but he's making our entire lineup look stupid. Stupid. At least back up when you're talking. And nobody showed any sense of that. Fourth inning, DeGrom got into a lot of trouble. Allowed a single to Reyes. Allowed one to Hap. Hermosio ends up getting a sacrifice bunt. Gomes with a sack fly. Two to nothing game. Wisdom with a sack bunt. Three to nothing game. And then DeGrom gets out of the inning. The Mets offensively. Fifth inning, DeGrom has a nice quick inning to rebound with a pair of strikeouts. Um, and the Mets offense. Sixth inning, DeGrom cruises through the Mets offense. Seventh inning, Lugo comes in, allows a home run to David Bodie. Good stuff. Good stuff. Seth Lugo now back to back outings where he's allowed to run. Good stuff. And the Mets get to the bullpen. Well, I shouldn't say they get to. The Cubs use the bullpen because Samson is not a good pitcher and can't go that deep in the games. And you have Michael Rucker come in and the Mets offense. Eighth inning. Ottavino comes into the game. Smooth sailing allows a single to Seiya Suzuki. Smooth sailing. Mets offense. Guillaume single. And then followed up by... Ninth inning. Diaz, sound the trumpets in the most depressing way possible. Last two singles, but gets three strikeouts. So, 
again, I didn't watch this inning, so I don't even know how he actually pitched, but uh, I'll say he was effective. Whatever. Ninth inning, Pete Alonso. Him and Lindor. Him and Lindor. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up at the end of these ball games. Buck goes to Vientos instead of Ruff. Thank you. Didn't matter. Canna with a walk. And then Escobar pops out. Game over. Four hits. Four. Four for the Mets tonight. DeGrom in six innings of work. Four hits allowed. Three earned runs. Picking up ten strikeouts allowing that home run. I'm not bad at DeGrom's outing at all. Uh, this was considered an off night because he allowed three runs and he struggled so much in that fourth inning. But I'm not mad because of the fact that he kept in the game still. And what more? I mean, sure. Had he not let up a run, they would have won. You got me, I guess. But then Seth Lugo still let up a run. But DeGrom was far from the issue. He pitched great. And yeah. I, I don't really have much else to say with DeGrom. Had a couple things that didn't go his way. The umps were also abysmal tonight. But it doesn't matter when this offense is useless. Lugo, one inning of work. Allowed a run. Allowed a hit. Picked up two strikeouts. Ottavino and Diaz, both of them, ended up allowing a couple hits combined. Getting four strikeouts combined, but didn't do anything. No walks for the Mets pitching staff tonight. None. None. Goose egg. But now we'll get into what matters. The lineup. My favorite. Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 2 with two walks on the day and a strikeout. Francisco Lindor. 0 for 3 with a walk and two strikeouts. Jeff McNeil. 2 for 4. Thank you for actually showing up. Pete Alonso. Thank you for being the modern day Alex Rodriguez. Showing up when it doesn't matter. Getting that home run. But otherwise doing nothing. I ain't got to walk I guess. Sure. Vogie, the, the hero of this team, right? 0 for 3. Vientos couldn't get a hit in his pitch hit assignment. At least Buck made the right choice there instead of going to Darren Ruff. I'll say that. Canna, 0 for 3 with a walk. Escobar, 0 for 4. Struck out once. Let's not do this, Escobar. And you know what? That's my fault. I, I mentioned the hitting streak. Yesterday, that's my fault. It is. I'm sorry, guys. That's my fault. I jinxed that one. So I will take the blame for Escobar going 0 for today. You are made his return. 1 for 3. Thank you for actually participating. And James McCann, 0 for 3. It's amazing. It is amazing. How about this easy schedule, huh? How about this easy schedule? Because the Mets have done a whole lot of nothing with this easy, easy schedule, I should say, with quotes. They've done nothing. They've done nothing but make me lose my mind. Yeah. So. It's just like. It's been a month of this. And if the offense can't be scoring on teams like the Cubs. Can't score on these teams like the Pirates. Do we have any hope for October baseball? I certainly don't. It's just funny. There was a time, remember, before the season when we talked about how this team was going to benefit from the DH so much. Then both of our DHs to start the season, gone. We replaced them with two new DHs. One of them's in AAA that we got rid of. Other killing it in San Francisco, who we trade for one of our DHs, who has done. Gee, let me think about this one. Nothing. And same with Vogie. There is a tweet I saw. Let me pull this tweet up. I don't know why I didn't have it ready, but I think it was from Evan Roberts of the Fan. So you guys probably know him, but this tweet made me cry. Here it is. In this series for the Mets, the Cubs have four home runs and the Mets have two runs. Now three, but at the time, two. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. From Sp uh, Sports Talk NYM yesterday. Bogey and Ruff have combined the last 15 games. Six for 74, hitting 082, 20 strikeouts, three RBIs, which I bet all of them are from Bogey, because I don't think Darren Ruff even has an RBI with this team. 43 left on base. And now you can add another three at-bats to that one. Because Vogi went 0 for today. Darren Ruff didn't even step on the field. Hallelujah. I, I just... I can't believe some people were satisfied at the deadline. I, it, it blows my mind still to this day. Um, I'm happy to have never been. Because I was of the camp where... Yeah, go prove me wrong, but... I don't believe you're going now. And yeah, sure enough, they haven't. They have Drew Smiley going up against probably a tandem of pitchers here with Peterson and Trevor Williams. Probably going to get both. And um, yeah, that's a good old wild card right there, if you ask me. Speaking of wild card, wild card uh, score update here. Giants and Braves tied at one in the second inning. Um... We better hope that the Giants could come through. And just, of course, Braves start losing games. Mets can't gain ground here. With the easiest part of the schedule, that is. Oh, my God, this team. This team, this team. Okay. That's it for me. I'm, I'm done. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I, whatever. Subscribe if you guys are new. I, I can't talk about this. I'm done.